What's up guys, it's Kevin Camacho and today I want to talk to you about my G85. I got this yesterday and I did an unboxing. If you guys want to see that, just go into my channel, you'll see that right before this video. Anyways, obviously I haven't had a lot of time using this. In total, I've probably used it for about two hours, like uh, once you combine all the time that I've been using it. So it's not very much at all. So I just want to tell you guys some things that I write, I like right away and things that I don't like right away. And this will probably change as I learn to use this camera and as I learn the ecosystem. But here goes. So the first thing I like about this camera is that it's so well built. It feels like a solid camera and it doesn't feel like a flimsy, cheap camera like my Canon T6i. Another thing that I really like is this lens that comes with it. It feels super high quality. I'm actually not even sure if it's plastic or metal because if it's plastic, it's super high quality plastic and if it's metal, it feels like metal. So I'm not exactly sure, but this is such a nice lens to come with a camera. Um, something I don't like right away is the whole system for aperture, shutter speed, and ISO. There's three individual dials for it. So basically use aperture, or this one controls aperture, this one controls shutter speed, and then back here you use your ISO. I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's because I'm not used to it or because it's actually just annoying. I don't like having different dials for everything. I wish it was like just a combination of two, like it was on the Canon. But this might change after I use it more and I might like it more. So that's why this is just an early video. Another another thing that I don't really like about this camera is these little flippity floppity little metal things that just jiggle around. They make so much noise and I think it's really distracting when you're shooting video and it basically just kind of ruins the audio unless you're using an external mic which I'm pretty sure is going to pick it up too. So I honestly don't like that. The last thing I don't like, and then I'm going to move on to things I actually like, is the size. I know that a lot of people actually love the size because it's smaller and it's more compact, but I just feel like my hands are super cramped and I feel like I, like this. When I'm trying to focus and I'm holding it, my hands run into each other, so I don't feel like I have the biggest range of motion. I feel like I'm, I'm in a little room trying to do a complicated thing, so that's what I don't like about it. And I don't know, maybe, like I said, maybe things will change, maybe I'll hold it different, I don't know, I just don't really like this size, I wish it was a little bit bigger. Um, the screen is really fantastic, so yeah, like, I'm moving on to things I like. The screen is super fantastic, I love, right away, the first thing I noticed when I turned on the camera, you're gonna notice the 60 frames per second video feed to the back uh, LCD, and that is amazing, it just, it, there's no, I don't know, what's it called, uh, it's, I'm running a blank. The mer there's no motion blur right away, and I really love that. It just feels really good, and it feels super high quality. The screen itself is a super nice resolution. I like all these individual dials for autofocus, manual focus. I like that I don't have to do those on the actual lens itself, um, as far as this lens goes. I'm sure for other lenses, I, I will have to do that. Um, another thing that I'm actually, I'm gonna say something else that I don't really like. Another thing that I don't like is the menu system. The reason I don't like it is because it's very obscure. It's like really vague on what everything means. For example, when you're trying to choose the uh, image quality, there's just images and none of, none of them really, def really say what they are until you see one that says raw which is the only one that's really specific, so you just kind of have to assume what everything else is. So that's something I don't like. A lot of things are very vague, and they're using like lingo that they assume you know, but people like me that just switched over to the platform have no idea, so I don't like that too much. But I'm sure once I learn, it's gonna be easier. Anyways, moving on to some other stuff that I do like, is this viewfinder up here. Since it's an electronic viewfinder, you're gonna get the same experience with this as you do with the actual big screen. And I really like that because you get all the features of the big screen or the digital uh, viewfinder added onto the, the top. So you can use the stability of putting it up to your face. So I really like that so far. Other than that, it just feels solid. Like the ports here, everything's placed in a really smart way. I love how the uh, SD card port is so easy to open and it feels solid. It doesn't feel like a cheap little door. It feels like I paid a thousand dollars, which I did. 
down here for the battery there's like a latch and I love that it just gives me another like feeling of security like the weatherproofing um, like the weatherproofing body which is something else I love the idea that rain snow dust can be around it and I don't have to worry about it that's just something I love because I love not worrying about my stuff that's why I have the no 8 which is water resistant and I just love the idea that I don't have to worry about this unless I'm obviously not gonna be dunking it in a bucket of water or I'm not gonna be I don't know just throwing sand at it but it's gonna take regular weather which I don't have to babysit it as much which gives me more freedom to shoot more freedom creatively to do what I want to do so I really like that that's pretty much it I'm gonna end the video there because I pretty much said all the things that I've noticed so far and like I said I've only been using the camera for about two hours in of total time so I'm obviously not an expert but that's my opinion so if you guys are looking into the G85 I hope this helps in some way or it doesn't I don't know I'll see you guys some other time bye